In a shocking turn of events that looks like Team AH trying to get themselves sued yet again, Team AH's newest PR push is to compare what happened in the courtroom in Virginia, where AH lost, by the way, to what's happening with Israel and Palestine. I kid you not, that's what they're doing. You can see it right here, and it happens again, and again, and again. Even going as far as to call J.D. an arpist, I'll say, despite the fact that he won in a courtroom. And this, oh, this is how you get sued. I mean, really? Yeah, what, what exactly are you supposed to say to that? Now, the interesting thing is, a lot of the Amber Heard supporters, they have no idea what to do with this. Many of them have turned. But what this has done is it has garnered a lot, and I do mean a lot of attention, hundreds of thousands of views. Again, you want to get sued? This is how you do it right here. It's like a step-by-step -step on how to lose cases. You and I, we're going to talk about all of this today, too. Crazy fun times. Crazy fun times, indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. So Team AH really does seem to be trying to get themselves sued yet again. And the way that they're doing it, this is absolutely insane. I mean, here we have the reported ex-girlfriend of Amber Heard, also reportedly one of her biggest recruiters online, years tied into that, and one of the biggest PR mouthpieces sounding off yet again. What they're trying to do, too, is they're trying to tie this into global conflict. They're trying to tie this to Israel, Palestine, rewriting the truth. Look at this. This isn't all of it. This is just the beginning. Quote, As many of you know, I walked into a courtroom in Virginia last April for a much ridiculed trial. Every day, we had to navigate baying mobs of trolls and imbeciles with signs and slogans and looks of perverted joy and bottomless hysterical rage on their faces. When I walked into the Museum of Tolerance last night, it was the same. Now, look at what she's saying happened there. Therefore, that's the same. It also happened in Virginia. Mobs of clowns protesting with flags and jeering chants and threats of violence. Do you ever remember threats of violence? Anything like that coming up? Absolutely not. And when we left, brawls broke out in the street. It was utter carnage. You know, just like what happened in Virginia, except not. They came to intimidate us before we could bear witness to the atrocities and the evidence. It was uncanny how much I recognized this feeling in my skin. Now, it's naive to say that if we show people the evidence, if we only see it, they will be on our side. That's incredibly naive. Here's why. It doesn't matter how much evidence we have. We could have more evidence than anyone in history, and none of that will matter because the world doesn't care. We're not popular. We are subjects of ridicules and taunts. And again, they're going to try this, try this back into AH. Now, this is where it gets really crazy, in my opinion, because everything bad apparently started on June 1st, 2022. That was the decision day for Depp versus Heard. So apparently, a man getting justice broke reality. Like I said, this is how you manage to get yourself sued. I mean, look what they throw into this. This is absolutely crazy. We are the people to be beaten in the street. There is no empathy for our experience, our story. It's far more fun to hate us. The glee on the faces of Hamas terrorists in the body cam footage is the same glee on the faces of kids who are beating Jews on campus right now. It's the same glee on the faces of influencers online who post about this with a fervor that amounts to addiction. They're addicted to it. There's no commonality between us and them. We are not made of the same humanity, and this is the stuff that morphs your reality. This is the shit that broke my brain since the verdict came down June 1st, 2022. Again, that's the day it all ties back to. 
the reality collapse. Because how do you maintain faith in a world where it feels like the overwhelming majority of people cannot see the truth, reason, and logic backed up by an unparalleled amount of evidence? How do you continue to see that world in the same way? You cannot. So essentially, the world didn't listen and believe. Therefore, it led to all this horror. It'll continue to. It shouldn't be naive to think that people will believe the evidence, accept the evidence, listen to us, notice that, listen to us, listen here, believe, want justice for us. Again, what happened June 1st, 2022, even if they don't like us, it's beyond a shadow of doubt that Hamas are evil. Again, you notice how that tied right back in there, and they must be eradicated. That a call for a ceasefire is a call to stay in a cycle of terrorism with Israel's neighbors who do not want to retaliate, but who desire to continue committing these atrocities. Now, this is where it gets really crazy, because they tie in, of course, misogyny. They call Depp an arpist, I'm going to say, and an accoster. That, again, is trying to get sued. And they say that this stuff is radicalism. Again, tying both subjects here together where you cannot separate the two. I mean, this is crazy. They call you the enemy as well. So it's not that our enemies can relate to the people in Gaza. It's that the idea of oppression, whether aptly applied to any given situation or not, and blaming Israel for the Gazans' oppression is absolute falsehood, has become so woven into their identities that to invite them to consider anything else is to ask them to separate from a fundamental piece of themselves. Now this... This is where they tie. Look, you can't separate the two subjects. I've witnessed hordes of people render a, I'm going to say, arpist and an accoster there, guy. They made their identity him. They never met him. No contact, no experience of him, but decided he was emblematic of their outsiderdom, their sadness, their lonerism. I mean, that's nuts. The power of of misogyny. That's right, ladies. All of you are misogynists. Is such that it took over the world and became the biggest trial in history. I have also witnessed for 20 plus years even bigger hordes of people render this cause of free Palestine. There, we're going to say the completion of their life goal without any skin in the game or any empirical evidence or any first-hand accounts. Free Palestine has become emblematic of their war against subjugation, oppression in capitalism. It's just as meaningless and just as insane. It's two plus two equals five. How do you break their radicalism? How do you undo the identity they've adopted that will wind up being their downfall? Now, all of this, in my opinion, is part of a larger PR push. I mean, right now, they're pushing one movie. They're trying to get ready for Aquaman to come out. This is the way they're doing it, too. I mean, it is beyond unreal. But, I mean, that's who they are now. Soapboxing on the misery of others, even if they're a world away. But anyway, let me know what you think about this. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work. Thank you. Can't say that enough. Oh, man, it's unreal. But anyway, share this. Appreciate you. See you soon.